Now we can troubleshoot whenever you get that message in the profile that the boundary will not fit within the given parameter. So you're going to get this message when the profile shift parameters are not going to be able to be met with the elevation difference that you have in there. So what I recommend doing is to switch the option to where needed and then study to see what you need to do from there. So I'm going to demonstrate that. So if I open Open Roads, let me expand the profile so we can see it a little bit better. And go to my profile for my name boundary. I'm going to select this drawing seed. You can see it went ahead and auto-populated everything. And I'm going to change my available profile height to 10. That way we'll be able to see that message. So first I need to identify the profile view and start. And you can see I'm already getting that message down there. Boundary will not fit within given parameters. And you can see it's not giving me any of the name boundaries that you should be seeing as I pull along here. So what I'm going to do for profile shifts, I'm going to change it to where needed. Okay, so now you can see as I'm dragging along here, I'm not getting that message. And so I could data point here and it places all of those name boundaries right there. See, I don't want to create the drawing, just the name boundaries. And then on the drawing tab, I can click measure distance. And this looks like the smallest one that it created right here. So I can measure that and see that it's 43 feet. And so if I went to my drawing production and changed to datum stations and say I still wanted it to be even, I could change it to 40. And then... I'm going to delete all of those name boundaries I just created. And then now you can see I can place them without getting that message. So that's one way that you could troubleshoot whenever you get that message. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.